Okay, today I'm going to show you how to turn a photograph or a uh, image into a vector that can be almost photo quality, but you would be able to adjust it uh, using the vector format and resize it without causing any distortion like what would happen if you were to resize the photo uh, in Photoshop. Uh, leaving it in the JPEG format. So what we're going to do here, I actually have done this. I'll show you the end result after this. I, I created, I built a website for a local uh, tattoo web shop here in Pensacola, Florida. It's, uh, if you want to take a look at us at DirtySouthInc.com. Anyhow, I also made their logo. So here, here's uh, what we wanted to do is we wanted to put a drawing of a tattoo gun that the owner had drawn onto the logo. So first thing I'm going to do I created me a document, a new document, name it anything you want, and then I'm going to place that image. And it's this one right here. Hit the enter key. And I'm just going to zero all this up so it lines up right. Okay, and as you can see, my, my image in the JPEG format is now placed into my illustrator document and just to, just uh, before we go any further let you know this is illustrator cs6 i do know they made changes in uh... how images are traced between cs5 and cs6 i do not remember exactly what those changes were you can go to adobe.tv though they do have a video on it because i have watched it in the past and unfortunately i just can't recall the, the names of the uh, similar but different functions in CS5. Uh, CS6 apparently has made it a, a lot easier to do this. That's, that's all I really know about it and it's just different. But anyhow, as you see we got the uh, JPEG photo or actually JPEG image scan that I have done uh, of the tattoo gun that we're placing onto the logo. So as you can see right there it's been placed in there. Alright, uh, Oh yeah, I wanted to click that to get it highlighted or get the uh, bounding box or whatever you want to call this thing. I'm sure there's a proper name for it. Uh, causes image trace up here to show up. If you see up here up top where my cursor is moving around. Okay, when you do that, you got different options. You can uh, try it as a technical draw and get it to trace as technical draw, as line art, as silhouette, as sketched art, as a black and white logo shades of gray, 16 colors, 6 colors, 3 colors, low fidelity, high fidelity. I'm just going to, I'm just, I'm not going to do every one of these. You can play with it, but I'm going to do a couple of them here. Let's show you how you can make this almost original quality here by doing 16 colors. And of course you got this little, it's going to take just a minute for it to process. Take just a little bit here. But it's uh, getting ready to get it, getting ready to allow it to be converted. Okay, there it is. Now it's got the image traced, but it's not yet a vector shape. Okay, in order to, at this point, we want to turn it to a vector shape. We want to see the expand up top here. Click that. Okay, now we have now we have all of our paths there, our vector paths. And you can literally take this. I'm holding down the shift key, and I'm going to drag resize without distortion it's just as good as when it was this size and obviously I'm got it a little fatter but as you know it's not I call it pixelating what Photoshop would do to it cause all the little squares to show up uh, it's not doing that here because this is now a vector graphic and uh, the color and everything about it, the outline and all that, is just as good quality as the original scan was. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and resize this one more time. We're going to do a couple more. There we go. And let's try, uh, let me see here. Let's go ahead on uh, Control Z. Well, actually, let me just be quicker to go ahead and replace that. And then I go 
control Z through all those steps. All right, one more time. Okay, we'll go image trace again. Let's try, uh, let me see here. Let's try technical draw and see how that looks. So we're going to do that. It's going to take just a minute. It doesn't look very well. Control Z. Alright, let's try, uh, let's say shades of gray. Take just a minute here to do that. You can make some really nice stuff with the grays. Really, really looks good, but. For this is see, there's the grays on it on Control Z. How what I ended up doing with this when I sketched art. Okay, there we have. That's that's the look that I wanted. I didn't need the colors for the logos because we did the logo black and white. We wanted to maintain black and white the whole way. So to turn that to a vector. I did that. Then I took uh, took it. I, re, I resize it. Or like I said, turn to the vector by clicking the expand button. I resize it. I got it pretty, pretty small. I don't remember exactly how small I got, but I'm going to show you the end product here in a minute. It's something like that. The end product here, we'll put it on the logo. You see down here. We got the, the DSC, Dirty South Inc. With the uh, tattoo gun right next to it placed in there. That's some things you can do that's really neat. Uh, when you turn things into vector art, it keeps it looking good. And that's about all there is to it. And I hope that helps someone. Yeah, have a good day.